Hi, it's Rose. Welcome to my channel. It is June 25th, so Christmas is right around the corner, and I'm here today to show you the Christmas tags that I made for the month of June. So if you are new to my channel, every month on the 25th of the month, I share Christmas tags that I've made during the month, and there are some crafters that have joined me in making tags, and I will link their information in the description box below. Please check their videos out as well. So I'll get right into showing the supplies that I used for this month's tags, and um, then we'll take a look at the tags themselves. Now to cut my tags for this month, I used this ripple frame tag die collection that I picked up on Amazon. And I use the three largest dies in this collection and I really do um, like the way they cut tags. I especially like that scallop topper to the tag. So um, those are the, the dies set that I used. And then for my paper, I used some paper from this Rosy Cozy Christmas six by six pad. Now I recently showed the collection that I picked up from scrapbook.com. I'll do a quick flip through now so you can see what the papers look like. And they're just really beautiful um, florals that I thought were um, very different for a Christmas collection. And when you take a look at my tags, you'll see that I decided to do sort of a shabby chic design using some of the paper from this pad. So that is the Rosy Cozy Christmas. I used an embossing folder from Anna Griffin and this is called um, Juliet Lace. And it's a really beautiful embossing folder. So I embossed a couple of layers of the tags. And then going back to that rosy, cozy Christmas, I used some embellishments. These are the decorative tags. They're mini tags that I used some sentiments on. And then some sentiments from the rosy, cozy Christmas sentiment sheet. And these are just peel off that I added on. Then I also used some micro beads. And um, I had, I've had i used microbeads in the past, actually many years ago, and I still had some in my stash. So I wanted to add that um, texture layer to the tags, and you'll see those in a moment. And then some really pretty ribbon that I found at Michael's. This is from the Celebrate It ribbon, and it's a really pretty red, almost like a crinkle ribbon that I thought would add a lot to the tags. So that's everything that I used. Now let's take a look at the tags. So this is the first tag that I made and you can see that it is the three uh, different layers. The first layer is a pink fuchsia and that is embossed with the um, embossing folder as well as the second layer in which is a red foil. Um, that was also embossed. The, the final layer is the patterned paper that I've covered with the micro beads just to um, mute the colors and also add some texture to the tag. I was really going for a vintage shabby chic look with these tags. So I've added some flowers that I had in my stash and I've embellished those with some of the shimmering mist, um, the Radiant Rain shimmering mist and also Wendy Vecchi's micro, Mica Spray Pearl um, just to add a little glimmer. Um, here's that really beautiful crinkled ribbon in the red um, a lot of the tones in that paper collection were pinks with deep reds and maroons. And so um, I thought that really added a lot to the tags. 
Now, this one has the banner, and I've added the We Wish You a Merry Christmas, and that was from that um, sticker sheet. The backs have a cream color cardstock that I added, and I left that plain to write a message along with the to and from. So that's the first tag. Now the second tag, the bottom layer is a, sort of like a moss green. And then I've added a gold foil second layer and those were both embossed. And then the pattern paper there, that is a different pattern paper from the first tag. But again, it's got those beautiful greens and reds and pinks and fuchsias. So I just thought it was really pretty. Um, this one says, Believe in the Spirit of Christmas. And then again, some flowers, poinsettia, and that uh, really pretty ribbon. And my final tag, it's a little bit of a deeper green base for that initial layer there. And then a green foil um, for that second layer. And then of course the pattern paper. This one has some holly and berries on it and um, sort of looks like mistletoe. This is dreaming of a white Christmas. And then of course the flowers that have that mica spray, and there's the back on that one. You can see all the shimmer, I think, in that shot. So those are the three tags that I made for this month. I hope you enjoy taking a look. Please be sure to check out the other crafters that are joining me in making Christmas tags on the 25th. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.